uh, following the shooting death of a man, 22-year-old Amir Locke, shot and killed last week uh, by officers who were executing a no-knock search warrant at an apartment. Uh, they were searching for a homicide suspect. Since the body camera video of this shooting uh, was released to the public, demonstrators have been calling for justice and an end to those no-knock warrants. Now, the young man that was killed was not listed on that warrant. And uh, people are protesting and they're demanding the interim police chief do something. Janelle Ford is live in Minneapolis with more. Well, Adrian, we've seen protests since Friday, and there are already more planned for this week. And the shooting just amplifying tensions here in a city that is still reeling from the 2020 death of George Floyd at the hands of police and still trying to mend relations between local law enforcement and the community. This morning, tension still high in Minneapolis following the shooting death of 22-year-old Amir Locke, who was gunned down last Wednesday by officers executing a no-knock warrant. Say it loud, say it clear. We want last night, marking the third day of protest, this time bringing demonstrators to the front lawn of interim police chief Amelia Huffman. How many more of us are they going to murder in our sleep? Body cam footage captured the deadly encounter. In the 14-second snippet released by the police department, you see the SWAT team use a key to enter a downtown apartment, then bust in yelling. They approach a couch where Locke appears to be asleep under a blanket. As Locke starts to rise, there's a flash of a gun in his hands, then gunfire. The officer who fired those shots is now on administrative leave. He's been identified as Mark Hanneman, a seven-year veteran of the force. I want the police officer that murdered my son yes. to be prosecuted yes. and yes. fired. Adding to frustrations, Minneapolis police confirmed Locke was not named in the warrant and have released few details about the circumstances of the homicide investigation in neighboring St. Paul is connected to. Locke's family says the 22-year-old was a licensed gun owner with no criminal history. People just are tired of people, particularly black people, being needlessly killed by the police. That's why people are out here freezing temperatures, um, demanding justice for a mere lot. And records show Officer Hanneman had at least three prior complaints all closed without any disciplinary action. Again, protesters calling for him to be fired and prosecuted. And then some of them taking it a step further, calling for the resignation of the city's interim police chief, the city's mayor, as well as the judge who signed off on that no-knock warrant. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Janelle.